if I look at a sum like this, I always first ask myself, I ask myself, first of all, the sine 66, how does that relate to the 8 and the 16? And initially, there's, it seems like no correlation between the two. So what I try to do is, okay, 66 is too big. So I try and see, can't I use co-functions? And in this case, the answer is yes. This is the same as cos of? 24. Ooh. Cos of 24, now 8 and 16, that goes to 24. So I'm going to try and say, okay, I don't have any other choice except to expand. So this is going to give me cos of 8 degrees times by cos of 16 minus sine of 8 degrees, sine of 16. Oh, but wait! That is P. And that is M. And there's your answer. Ah, sir. It can't be that easy. It is. I promise you. This comes out of previous year's exam papers, guys. They love this. They love this. So ladies and gents, now we look at the next one. I love these kind of ones. Tan 188 times by sine 376 all over cos of 344. Step one, get everything between naught and 360. So this one I'm going to subtract 360. And I'm too lazy to write everything out. So I'm going to go sine of 16. And now this one is already between 0 and 360. But I want to get it between 0 and 90. So I'm going to skip to step 2 somewhat automatically. Third quadrant. So it's positive tan 8. This one is between 0 and 360, so let me get it between 0 and 90, so it is positive cos of 16 degrees. And I just quickly want to say this, ladies and gents, understand, by what I just did, I already have two out of the four marks. Even if I couldn't do anything further, I still have two out of the four marks, which is much better than getting naught out of the four marks. You've got to learn to score marks even if you don't know how to finish off the sum. So there's a, there's a lot of tricks in, ma in trigonometry specifically. Getting angles between naught and 360, getting angles between naught and 90, scores you half of the marks in almost all the sums. So please, grade 12s, I want everyone's eyes on me at this moment. If you are struggling, if you are struggling, ladies and gents, to do trigonometry, make double sure that you can do reduction properly, as well as being able to get your angles as close to 0 and 90 as possible. Because you guys lose more than half of your marks by silly sign errors, silly identity mistakes. And the problem is, if, you, if you've done that one mistake, a lot of times, your sum will not work out in the end. One sign mistake, and your left is not going to be right, the same as your right, which means you might lose two or three marks even. So be, be careful. 
Ladies and gents, let's finish this one off. I don't want tan of 8. I want sines and causes. So what am I going to do? Tan of 8 is sine 8. So I'm going to do some funky magic. I'm going to put the sine 8 at the top and the cos 8 at the bottom. Because it's multiplication, it doesn't matter. And then I've got a sine 16 at the top and a cos 16 at the bottom. <gasps> what? I have M at the top. And I have P at the bottom. Yes, sir. Okay, good question. Okay. Okay. So, you have a very valid question because quite a few of you guys, I know, wrote it like this. Sine of 8 degrees over cos of 8 degrees It seems like I know how your brain works. I, I don't know how I do that. Okay. But so, if I take something times by something over something, it means the same as saying sine of 8 degrees over cos of 8 times by sine of 16 over cos of 16. Be because... Because there's only times and divides. Now, I can, do, I can show you how this works by using just pure maths. If I go 4 over 3 times by 6 over 8, 3 goes into 6 twice, 4 times. <laughs> now you guys are like, wait, let me get my calculator. <laughs> 2 times by 6 is? Okay, 2 times by... So 4 times by 6, sorry. Sorry. 3 goes into 6 twice. 4 times 2 is? Eight. Divided by 8 is? Okay. Now what about 4 times 6 over 3 times 8? Drop the mic. Okay. What allows me to do this, sir, is there's only times and divides. If there was pluses and minuses, I'm not allowed to do that. But because there's only multiplication and division, I am allowed to do that. Okay? Ah, oh, so must we know all of these tricks? Preferably, yes. <laughs> Remember, guys, what I said when you guys started here on Monday, I said, maths is the subject with the most amount of studying. Because this is a trick you actually got taught, most probably, in between grade 6 and grade 9. You should have been taught this. I'm talking about the times and divides. Not the signs and the causes, but the times and divides. And the biggest issue that I found with matric learners, it's not the matric work that trips you guys up. It's the stuff that comes before that. 